Hi, good afternoon. Uh, time for some uh, reading, and I thought I'd read here with uh, one of my good friends. Been a good friend of mine for 10 years, and uh, after 10 years, you really want to do something nice for them. So I'm giving my good friend here a gift. And how about some light reading? Uh huh, that's right. The Kubota, yeah, backhoe. But to get ready for that, I have right here a subframe. And uh, this subframe, I need to put underneath the tractor. Uh, this goes on the, the top part here. There are bolts that go on the top. And then this is, each side gets this bolted on. So on the rear, so that you have a stable four point mount for this tractor. So um, I'm going to be going through a little bit of this for you. And I'm no expert at this, but I am excited. And maybe you can learn with me. Okay, now I got the two brackets on for the backhoe, and now I need to get hydraulics on there. And basically what we have is this, on this uh, assembly right here, you can see there it says BY, that's power beyond. We wanna take this out here, okay, which right now this goes, it's the green, goes down into here. Basically, we want to take this hose here out back and loop it back into here. This female right here is is going to, the female is going to go to here and then the others loops and goes back into here. So we're going to work on assembling that and we get that taken care of, we should be pretty much set for the backhoe.
route then somewhere back through here. Okay, uh, I topped off, I was told to add about a gallon of hydraulic fluid, which I successfully added some. We'll put the cap back on. And guess what? I think we're about ready to test this out. I'm excited. Okay, <clears throat> so I needed to remove the three-point hitch in order to mount the backhoe. So the uh, top center piece uh, came right off with pin. Oh, there comes the ball. Um, then the right side, removing a few pins, getting the right tools. And uh, that right side uh, came right off without a hitch. So I thought, wow, we're doing really good. It's probably I did that side uh, first because the next side was going to prove to be just a little bit different. So this tractor is 10 years old and surprisingly the right side and the top came right off but the bottom pin that you can't pound at from one side you can just pull that was stuck so i ended up uh see how see how nice that top one came off i, I thought i was in really good shape uh finally <clears throat> i that pin that I'm working on right now, uh, I got the bolt out that holds it in. That was, that was fine, but that pin itself was a real bugger. So I ended up having to get some extra tools, had to get hammer, try to twist it back and forth. I ended up, could, finally after beating the thing, I could twist it just about an eighth of, or an eighth of an inch so I got some lubrication gradually sprayed it moved it back and forth back and forth and eventually I got it off and then I lubed everything up really well
take the tool, the bar that held the toolbox on so that the seat could go down. So now I flip that up. I should be in good shape now. So we're ready to go and rock and roll.